I'm going to explain how to use Cinema 4D's other light, the sun light. To follow along, go to File, Open, and then go to Working Files, Cinema 4D Files, Sunlight. The sunlight is a nifty and fun little feature inside Cinema 4D, and I think it's best just to open it up and take a look at it so you can get a better sense of what it does. So go up here to the lights, hold that down, and click on Sunlight. Sunlight is an infinite light with a ray traced shadow. Now you can change the shadow to a soft shadow, but ray traced renders faster, so it's that way by default. And you might think, okay, it's just an infinite light, but it has one extra feature. It has the Sun tab here, so click on that. And what the tag properties inside the Sun tab let you do is adjust the position and the color of the Sun relative to the time and the geographic location. It really is a lot of fun. So I set up this little room here with a couple of walls and a floor and that sphere so you can get a sense of how these objects will interact with the sun as it goes across the sky. You animate the sun based upon changing the time or the date or both. And you place the sun in the sky based upon the latitude and longitude. So right now, the current to date and time you can see there, it's 1030 in the morning. So why is the sun off to the west here? The sun should be to the right here, off to the east, to the positive direction on the x-axis. That's because the location is in Germany. This little default location here is a little town southeast of Dresden in Germany called Lohmann. Perhaps some engineer on the Maxon staff put that in there as the default location. Maybe that's where they live or it's one of their favorite places to go for hikes because it is really a beautiful spot. Nevertheless, Cinema 4D calculates where the sun will be in the sky at this location based upon my local time here in the Pacific time zone. Pretty amazing. So I want to change it to what the time for sunrise would be in Germany. And Germany's nine hours later than my time. So I'm going to change this to nine o'clock at night, which is 2100 hours. And I see the sun is off to the east. It's still dark. It's kind of low in the sky. I want to set that as the starting point for our animation. So I've got the current time there, the time slider at zero. So I'm going to hold down Control or Command and click on this little circle next to time to set that keyframe. Now I'm going to take my time slider and put it at the end there by clicking this button like that. And I want to change this time here to basically sunset. Sunset would be around 8 o'clock German time, which is about 20 hundred hours, which is 11 o'clock in the morning here. So I'll change this to 11 o'clock, like that. And I want to change it to the next day, otherwise the sun will go under the Earth. So we'll go to the 25th here, like that. And now I'll set a keyframe for that new time by a controller command clicking there. And let's watch this animation. I'll take it back to the start, and we'll click this. The sun goes across the sky, which is kind of cool. And the colors change as the sun gets higher in the sky and then dips to the sunset. Now you're not seeing any shadows, you're not seeing any reflections because you need the render to do that. And you can only render still frames, you can't render an animation. But we will take a look at this inside After Effects in just a moment. What happens if you interpolate the date instead of the time? To start that process, I'm going to delete all the keyframes. Now I could go to each one individually and delete them one at a time. But there's a keyboard shortcut you can use to delete all keyframes associated with the property. And that's do Shift and then Control or Command click on this little circle, and that takes care of all of them at once. I'm going to take you back to the beginning by clicking on that. And I want to interpolate the date and not the time. So I'll set the time to, let's say, about sunrise, which is back over here to 2100 hours again, let's say. We'll make it 2200 just to be a little bit higher in the sky there. And then I'm going to change the date. I'm going to keyframe the date by taking this original date here, controller command clicking on that, going to the end here like that. And then we'll change this to 2014, one whole year's worth of watching the sun go up and down. So I'll control command click on that. So now the sun will basically stay at this angle, but we'll adjust because of the changing seasons. Let's animate that. So you can see how that works. Like so. And if I want it to be a little bit higher in the sky, we'll go back to the beginning here like that. And we'll change this to, let's say, 2300 hours like that. We'll keyframe that at the beginning. And then we'll go to the end. And we'll do 2300 hours for the end as well. So you need to change that keyframe like this. And now we'll take a look at that where the sun will be a little bit higher in the sky. So that shows you the changing seasons at the same time of day. Now, if you want to see this as a rendered animation preview, the standard way to do that in a retail version of Cinema 4D would be to go to Render, Make Preview. But Make Preview doesn't work in the light version. The fact that it's there might throw you off. But if you click on that, it'll go through the motions of making a preview, but then you won't be able to watch it because Cinema 4D Lite does not actually render out video files. Maxon adjusted the features of Cinema 4D Lite to work with After Effects and have After Effects do the final render. To see a video render of this file, you would need to save it and then view it inside After Effects. Now, I don't recommend that you save over the original file. If you want to see a video preview inside After Effects, save this file inside the My Exercise Files folder and save it under a different name other than Sunlight. 
Now I already saved the version of this file and imported it into After Effects, so it's already here. Now I want to preview it, so I just drag it down to the new item icon like that. And now I'm going to do a RAM preview, but I'm going to do a RAM preview at the highest render setting. I'm going to go up here to Renderer and change to Standard Final, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see any reflections. All right, it completed its render. Let's take a look at this. You can see the shadows falling across the floor there as the sun goes across the sky. You don't see the glow of the sun coming through the windows, for example, because this particular light does not allow you to have volumetric lighting or visible lighting. But you do still see the results like this, and it looks pretty cool. So that's how you use the Cinema 4D Sunlight.